Katie Play Stuff. Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. So, we're gonna get to the last part of Crooked Man today. At least, I think it's the last part. Um, I'm gonna try and just play through the end, because I really don't think there's that much left, so we're gonna see. Um, I just got out of the shower, I'm not wearing any makeup, I'm looking like a bum. Don't judge me. Let's get on with the next part. Oh, it's Paul. Damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to? And where? Paul, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. Calm down. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help, now did it? It was Paul's fault we moved there. It wasn't a bad idea. But it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Wait a second. Okay, Paul knows something's up with the place. Nobody said anything like that. David has just been like, MIA, and now he knows that something was up with the place. I knew Paul was in on this. Huh? Damn it. I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room... Ugh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things. And... He sees things? I knew he was weird and sketchy. David? David, where are you? Central Hospital. Wh why are you way over there? Listen, I'm going there, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please, don't. Leave me alone. What's up with David? David? Hey, David! Damn it. It'd take about a day to get to that place on my motorcycle. Marion, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David is my friend, too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. All right, let's go. Paul to the rescue. He got us into this crap. Ooh, he's speeding. GTA status. David's car. He's gotta still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. All right. Guess we're not leaving the hospital like I thought we were. Ooh. Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That you, David? Oh, boy. Upstairs where? Like, up upstairs? Who's there? What are you doing there? Is that... A, a girl? Is that sissy? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? It is sissy! What the heck is she doing here? What happened? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Whoa, Sissy's being all cryptic. Man, what the hell was that? Go see him. Go see him where? Oh, now I'm gonna have to look all over for him. It's weird being Paul though, he's so freaking ugly. I'm good. Someone else? David? Wait, who is it now? No. 
Hey, who are you? No way. What? Yo. That's not his voice. What the hell? What are you doing here all alone? I don't know. Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. I am so confused right now. Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. <laughs> I am so confused right now. What are those people doing here? There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. A kid? D don't tell me kids wandering here. Fluffy? What? He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. C kid, what are you doing here? And they all live together in a crooked little house. Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... died? David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What was with him? What's going on? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion? What do you mean, teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? They're not real? They're ghosts? What? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David, no jokes. Oh my. So that's it, huh? Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for, uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened, I'd be putting us both in danger. Please, just trust me. All right. Please come back quickly. Right. Ooh, this game. What a twist. Just wait for me, David. What a twist. All right, David is definitely on the roof. Oh, this game is being crazy right now. Hold on. I gotta save it. And I'm gonna do... I don't... I know that later on in the game you have to make choices, so I'm gonna do a couple different save spots, just in case we have to make any choices out here. There's the music again. David! What are you doing out there? Open the door. Choice number one. David. Paul? Why? Why are you here? Come to- came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave- STAY AWAY! David! No! David, you... I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. 
and those are the only things I'll have. <gasps> what is that? David, what? What? That's... Is the crooked man behind me? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now, Okay, okay, here we go with choices. Okay, okay. I'm already... I already know that I'm supposed to make the bad choice because I've done it every time and that'll be the good ending. Um, but I haven't made any other choices this whole entire game. Let's quickly make the uh, other choices and see what happens real fast and then we'll get on to the good ending just because might as well. All right, I'm gonna persuade him just to be a nice guy, cause I'm Paul. I know you've had it really rough. I'm your best bud after all. I'm always trying to help you out. And it might be hard now, but tides can change. Good things can still happen. No, I know they will. Whatever happens, I'll help you. Ah, oh, nice Paul. So, shut up! Who do you think you are? You want to help me? Good things will happen? They never have! It was all for nothing! So I... D david stop! Don't say that! Who are you? Huh? I don't know you. And you couldn't know me. The only one who understood me was him. D David, you're... But I only realized, in my last moments... Out of my sight, hypocrite. David! Oh, what a bad ending. Oh, God. the game actually ended like that. David. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Okay, so now I'm going to take the gun from him, which probably will result in Paul getting shot. Let's see what happens. Why you? Why do you have a gun anyway? Give me that! Stop! Let go! Just leave me be! I'm afraid I can't do that, David. You're my- Stop! I knew it! Huh? What? What? The sound effects, though. Sorry, Paul. Wow. I actually kind of liked that last ending. Um, not David dying, but you know, I never really liked Paul. Alright, let's go to the actual good ending and what we need to do right now. Alright, let's punch that guy. with the one two and the three four you damn monster get away from david what hey uh, ow St stop ow 
Paul's nuts. That hurts. Stop, you moron. David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been sane from the start. Like hell. If that's the kind of thing you do sane, I'll have to beat you up till you promise not to. Now, about this stuff you've been doing. You better tell me everything that happened. Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy? And that crooked monster? Oh, so you believe in the monster. That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fantasism. Don't I always tell you that I see it? You and Mary never believed me. Sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy, D, and the kiddo? I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe. But Sissy and Dee wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your occult shtick? You seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen and no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling. From you, and from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep. And you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core, and always sympathize with others, and they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know him? You know a little from the stuff you left. Plus, that was all the stuff you could identify with. So, what would you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him, or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? What? He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in his suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He... he helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. And I don't think it's that far. Another address? I thought the game was over. Okay, wait, okay. Wait. <laughs> Before I go anywhere, I am so confused right now. So, the people I've met in this game aren't real. They're in my consciousness because they needed help and I needed to help them or something and the crooked man isn't real or maybe he is um, but I sympathize with some guy who used to live in my apartment and now he's calling me to him so is the guy from my apartment dead or is he not dead and is the crooked man real I don't know what's going on I'm so confused okay all right all right I'm going I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David! 
You come back to us safe. I... I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. So the crooked man is gonna follow me while my life is crooked, so I gotta fix my life by going to this address and meeting up with this guy from my apartment who might or might not be real or dead or not. I don't know. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna split up this into two parts. I'm just gonna play through the next scene because I'm hoping it's the last of the game. And, um... I'm just going to split it up into two parts, so this will be part one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!